Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my beauty empties. Um, I don't try, like I don't do these very often just because I don't go through beauty stuff that often. Um, but a lot of you guys really tend to prefer seeing this monthly, um, even if it's not that full. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and yeah, <laughs> so I'll go ahead and jump in. So the first thing I ended up finishing was these Pampers uh, Sensitive Baby Wipes. I had originally purchased these to go on a camping trip where we weren't going to be showering or anything. But then um, Linda happened and um, school got canceled and yeah, I didn't have to use them. So I just ended up using it for like cleaning up makeup in my area and taking off swatches. That's the only reason why I included them in this video because they were really just used for makeup purposes. But I don't really buy wipes because I think they're really wasteful, but because I had already purchased them because I rather use wipes than not take a shower after working in the mud for a whole weekend. Um, yeah, I also used up the Suave Moroccan Infusion Shine Shampoo. My parents buy this shampoo for me whenever I come. Um, it's not like my favorite to use from the drugstore, but it is one that works and that's cheap for my parents because they don't have to like supply the stuff that I like. They just do this like because I like this one. Um, in like the very very cheap level it's okay i mean i really love the smell i used to use this in high school and i don't know i just i love the smell i don't know if suave is that great for your hair i obviously try to use things to help um the curls and the waves in my hair so yeah uh if i don't feel like using this one i will shampoo my dog with it i apologize if you can hear my brother in the background i mean I probably I like the conditioner more than the shampoo I still have like bottles of the conditioner but I'm using through products that I've purchased and then you know I'll use up those stuff and then repurchase the stuff that I like I finished up my eye cream this is a Maison intensive firming collagen power firming eye cream this is my favorite my go-to eye cream it is moisturizing enough so you don't have dry patches underneath your eyes and it keeps it nice and hydrated but it's not thick enough where it just doesn't sit nicely underneath makeup so this is my morning and night um, eye cream so I've already have a backup and I'm using that one um, it's a little bit of a hassle to get because it is K-Beauty so I have to order it through Amazon um, and I'm trying not to order as many packages because I know how in a pinch the postal service and UPS is in but yeah I really like this I recommend this to my friends when they're asking me for eye cream recommendations um, I think this is good for oily skin perhaps because it's light, but it still moisturizes. Um, not that I don't know if oily people, because I have dry skin, so I don't know if like oily people get oil <laughs> underneath their eyes where they would put eye cream, but highly recommend this. It's in a glass slash plastic bottle, so you do have to be, it's like glass container, but plastic cap. I accidentally dropped mine and the plastic cracked right there, but it's fine. I just gotta be careful. My medicine cabinet is like not very big and it's pretty full at capacity right now um for like the tiny shelves so yes i also finally finished my cuddly venusaurus cream sos hydration intense cream i end up getting this every single november because i always buy the kit that comes with the sos serum that i love and like my skin just loves it, drinks it up, and that kit usually comes with a full size. Um, I had actually ended up mixing a different moisturizer in here, and this is actually really great for traveling because the container itself is only 1.6 fluid ounces, so I'm not going to get rid of the container. I have purchased this, like I said, many, many times, um, but I am going to keep this and reuse this because it's a good travel container. It is um, thick glass, but it's nice and sturdy, so... I don't know, I'll put like hair gel, hair gel or another cream in here um, just so I'm repurposing that. Also currently finished my out the door top coat. I am without a top coat currently and honestly 
Oh, I really need to go get some. Um, I purchased this because they were out of Sashvit. I normally use Sashvit and that has been my go-to for years and years and years. I just love how it fixes. I'm not the great, like I've been applying nail polish for so long and I'm just not good at it. Um, I don't apply thin layers and weight. I like applying thick layers because I don't have time to put like a lot of layers on. So, um, it doesn't look that great on itself, but when I put like this or Sesh Free on, it kind of fixes all of those mistakes. So it's been my go-to for years. I've used Out the Door before, but like I said, Sesh Free is just my favorite. I was able to get out of this Out the Door container more than I typically do with Sesh Free. So I might consider repurchasing Out the Door again. It just depends what's available when I um, end up purchasing it. But I literally have not left the house like out of the neighborhood in like a couple weeks <laughs> so that's why I haven't um, had the opportunity to repurchase it but definitely will be on the list of repurchasing I am basically out of my Jack Black lip balm I'm gonna cut this open to get uh, the product that is down here that I can't reach I love this as you can see practically used it up it just is great moisture all around I don't know about you but my lips often need a lot of different lip balms depending on how it's feeling so I always have a bunch but no matter what my lip is going through or they are going through um, Jack Black lip balm always really tends to help in the situation so that's why I'm gonna go through the link of cutting it open but I just wanted to include it because I don't know. I don't want to wait until it's gone because then it's just going to really just sit there. Um, so yeah, I do have more, but I have other lip balms I also have to get through um, before I repurchase this again. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I still have another tube of this somewhere. I think it actually might be in my backpack that I haven't paid attention to because obviously I haven't been going to school. A makeup that item that I finished was in here. <laughs> Excuse me. I just had breakfast. Um, so this was the Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, banana powder that came in, like, the original contour kit. Um, so I don't know why I ended up keeping that powder. I basically just smashed it up and put it in here, and I even mixed the vanilla powder, and I've just been using this to set my, um, eyeshadow primer, and it's taken me years and years and years to finish them, because I think I would just, like, keep refilling it with, um, other stuff that I had. Um, but finally, it's gone. Thank God, because this last bit, it was just pure banana powder, and it was really dark for me, so it would, you know, what was supposed to be, like, my brow bone was dark, <laughs> so. Finally, finished that up. I'm gonna try to repurpose this container to put, like, I don't know, um, if I cut, like, a CC cream open or something like that, or foundation, or, like, my lip balm, I'll probably just put it in here. This used to be a Lush lip scrub. And I've just repurposed the container, so hooray for reusing and recycling. Okay, the last thing I have here, I know this is a very short, short, short empties video, but I know, like, oh, I feel like so, like, ugh, because it's so short, but I know you guys prefer uh, just seeing it consistently than waiting until it fills up and having a very, very long video, so here we are. I used up a couple of foundation samples and... We're just gonna go, is my closet open? It was open. <laughs> I was like, why is it moving? Because it was open. So, um, let's talk about this one. This is a K Korean beauty one. So this is the Ispoir, I don't even know how you say it, Ispoir Pro Taylor B Silk Foundation. Um, so it came with two samples and I threw away the other one that was open because they put so much foundation. I do have to give them kudos um, that they put so much foundation in their sample, like enough for like two full face uses, unlike the other foundations that I have in here, foundation samples. Um, the reason why I don't have both and this one's still closed is because it made my skin look horrible. It was cakey. It did not look nice. So I just threw that one away because there was still half a packet left. Again, there's a lot of foundation in these and then I just wasn't going to bother using it. Um, it just does not sit nice on the skin and again, really cakey. So yeah, I'm going to toss that one. And um, no shade to Charlotte Tilbury, but her foundation sample packets suck. Not enough foundation to cover your face. 
Um, so I have the Hollywood Flawless Filter and the Light Wonder Foundation. So I basically opened all of them and out of the little bit that all of them came, I kind of used to like set my whole face. So I did fair just underneath my eyes. I did light in like this middle portion. I did light medium to do like my forehead portion and then I did like the mediums to do like the outer parts. So yeah, it kind of sucks. It's really just to find like your foundation and not to actually test it out. So um, this one kind of reminded me of the Fenty um, foundation from Rihanna, the hydrating one. I just posted like not really it's just kind of like a try on video and just like seeing how it wears throughout the day it's not a first impression but it kind of sat on the skin kind of like that one but i still preferred the fenty one just in regards to coverage and it just sits a lot nicer but it did remind me a lot of that one so i'm not considering purchasing this one then we have the light wander foundation again same scenario where there just wasn't enough foundation in the sample to use all over your face so I used all of them to kind of create all over my face honestly I do have to say that doing that created the most like beautiful color situation going on on my face those days but it's unrealistic to buy like six foundations six of the same foundation in different shades to create that effect but it was beautiful so I actually really liked the light wonder foundation it just looked really, really nice on the skin um, when you first applied it. Now, when I wore it throughout the day, I don't know if it was because I took a nap or it just, like, it's not very compatible with dry skin. Uh, the longer I wore it throughout the day. So here I have, like, my problem area that's kind of peeking through. You just see that, like, it's red in its texture. I'm not wearing concealer today. I'm only wearing my CC cream. Um... I felt like in this area, I don't know if it's because it's a little bit textured or it tends to be drier, but in that area when it wore throughout the day, it didn't look very nice. It looked very dry, kind of as if it was sticking to dry patches that I wasn't aware existed. But the rest of the face looked pretty okay. So this one's like definitely a shorter wearing foundation, but I did really, really enjoy. Again, I, I apologize for my brother's yelling in the back. I've literally like told him to shut up so many times and he just doesn't do it. Um, so. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I do want this, but I have to finish like some other foundations and I don't know how realistic it would be to buy a foundation that you could, like it would be like short term wear. I can't imagine a situation where I'd only like be wearing a foundation for a very short amount of time. Um, I just don't plan my days like that anymore, like where I just have one thing to do and it's like to go meet for like a meal with someone where they like, uh, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Like sometimes that happens, but it's very unlikely that happens. And that's the only time I could probably wear this and get away with it looking good. So I definitely want this, but I don't know. I think I just have to try it again to see if it like performs the same under a different or the same environment but that is all of the empties i have as of now unfortunately unfortunately fortunately but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this fast little video i mean currently while i'm recording this this is at 16 minutes because i've had to pause a long time to let my brother like go on his rants but this is probably gonna be a very short video so i again i do apologize i'm literally gonna go hit him on the back of the head because <laughs> Like, yelling at him is obviously not working. But I hope you guys are enjoying your day wherever you're watching from. Just thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.